Y'all get ready? Yes, you get Y'all ready. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey you guys, I hope you guys are doing good today. So for all your tea sipping needs, don't forget to go on to lovelytea.net or amazon.com forward slash shops forward slash lovely tea. And we will also have our holiday gift baskets available in the next few days. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that option. Thank you guys so much for the support and stay tuned for the video. All right, so I wanna come on here and talk about the little mama versus Bow Wow situation. So if you guys don't know, this entire situation's a hot damn mess, okay? So Little Mama's on this season of Grown Up Hip Hop ATL. I would say you kind of like came on to him. What? That is hilarious. He was joking, right? And so, of course, Bow Wow's big grown ass, he's on there too. For some reason, this grown man who's in his 30s will forever have a 15-year-old's mentality. The way he carries himself, the way he talks, it's just really sad. So on the show, he was talking to one of his homies named BT, and he's basically telling BT that if he keeps it up, he'll be able to fuck Little Mama in a week. And so I'm watching this like, is this dude serious? I've never heard about Little Mama being a thot being a pass around, you know, she may have crashed Jay-Z and Alicia Keys set back in 2009. She might be a little bit too proud to be from damn nutty New York, but I've never heard about her being a hoe, okay? So, of course, when he put that out there, a lot of folks started looking at her sideways, going in on her, laughing at her. And when I tell you she clapped back on his ass, honey, she came back with the read of a century, okay? I want you guys to go ahead and check out this video of Bow Wow talking to BT, and I want you guys to go ahead and check out Little Mama's response to the fuck shit, okay? Check this out, and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. Man, you know what I'm saying? I just do something to the ladies. You little whore. <laughs> you, done got, you done got little mama. Y'all gonna be in a week. Say that motherfucker. Little mama, she invited me to New York. Did she invite you to New York? No. All right, so that's odd. So she was trying to get you to come to New York? My girl gonna whoop her ass. <laughs> Tell you that motherfucker much. I'm glad that BT and, you know, little mama, they had a good time. And uh, I just hope that they keep it up. Because I don't want little mama flirting with me. I don't need little mama messing up what I got going on with Kiyomi. I want to start this off just by saying that um, you played yourself, kid. Very well. You know that in all the years that I've ever known you, you ain't never known a nigga to fuck me in a week. So to even give BT advice like, oh, yeah, you're going to be fucking in a week. You're being a clown. More importantly, by even misleading anybody to believe that I wanted you to come to New York for us to do what? I was trying to bring you around some real niggas. You, you want to commit suicide one day. You going crazy here. You going crazy there. I come from a grounded environment that I was trying to bring you to. And we're doing a TV show. We're creating content. You are far from the type. You are far from the type of man that I could ever see myself being with, sleeping with any of that nature. You knew me since we was kids. When we was on tour. When you had the pre-cut t-shirts, the little pre-cut white beaters that used to rip off. Who you knew that fuck? Who you knew that could get next to me? I was surrounded by men. My father, my brothers, my uncles. Y'all was scared to talk to me. So how somebody fucked me in a week or you could give advice to somebody that they would even be able to. You out of your mind. You're bugging. You're bugging. And you have to stop. You have to. You gotta stop. Oh, and there's so many things that I could address about this show, like really, but I'm not gonna let everything pull my attention. Y'all can believe what y'all wanna believe, all right? But you not, I let it slide the first time because I wasn't sure. You was like, you know, shit be the ass. I'm like, I don't know who, who he's saying who would do what. And you know, your little girlfriend, whoever she is, I, nobody knew her before the show. Right, it's saying that she would. Uh, uh, what was the word she used? I'm trying to remember. So, beat me the fuck up or something. Before we even start talking about a female beating my ass or anything like that, let's just be clear that I will smack the shit out of you. Period. Oh. 
Honey. When I tell you little mama read him for the filth, but she did it in such a calm, classy way. She didn't have to cuss him out. She didn't have to be on the internet being all rah, 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 doing stuff for show. She basically stated the facts and kept it damn moving. And I also reminded Bow Wow that I was here for you when your ass was screaming all that suicide shit that you scream every damn two to three months, okay? So this entire situation's a hot damn mess. You know, like I've said, I've been over biracial Bow Wow for years, okay? Especially after the whole plane incident that started the whole Bow Wow challenge. I've been over him, okay? This man lies about everything. You know, all these years he was black. Then he wants to come out the blue and say that he's biracial and his daddy's Indian. And then we all saw his drunk ass black dad on growing up hip hop. You know, so this entire situation's insane. Bow Wow is the epitome of an adult that just has not matured, okay? He has not stepped into the role of an adult. What a night, what a night, what a night, Dallas. Jesus, y'all been going up. This is my third day here. I, I feel like I'm about to move to this motherfucker. God damn, nigga, so fine, man. Look at this. Lips is just pink, teeth white. Look at that. My eyes is white. They match my sheets. My eyes are green, the same color as money. I mean, this is amazing. Look beautiful. Look at me. Wow. Last night was a motion picture. Orlando, I hope y'all ready because they ain't playing foul here. They not playing fair. You know I'm drinking that new shit. I'm on that summer colada, that new Ciroc. Ciroc boys, we own the summer. You know what time it is. You know what I'm saying? I had girls like, is that the new one? Can I try some? Is that the new Ciroc? You don't mind if I can have a squid? When's it coming out? I ain't never seen a white and gold Ciroc bottle before. My bitch, wait your turn, all right? So 100,000 cases is very limited, all right? If you wanted that bad, go click the link, all right? <laughs> it's that simple. Stop asking me to put your dirty ass lips on my shit. No. Just because you're having sex, just because you're a father, you know, anybody can, you know, bust a nut and create a life, unfortunately. Just because you do that does not mean that you're mentally mature. I feel like Bow Wow is just stagnant. He's stuck thinking that he's between the ages of 15 and 18. Because the way he carries himself, the way he talks. I remember one time he was on Instagram going in on loving hip hop, talking about that's for old people. And if you're young, you need to watch growing up hip hop. And I'm like, dude, you're in your 30s. You're not as young as you think you are, Bow Wow. You know, that just doesn't make any sense. You're clowning them for being old as if you're 15, as if half the cast members on Grown Up Hip Hop aren't in their damn late 20s. You know, this entire situation is insane. I also think another reason why Bow Wow has a lot of issues is that a few months ago he was on the doctor's show and he was talking about how he had a lean addiction. So I want you guys to go ahead and check this out really quick. This September, hip-hop sensation Bow Wow tweeted about his agonizing addiction to lean, which almost cost him his life. Rising to stardom at just 13, with millions of fans worldwide, Bow Wow's success continued over the years. But along with it came the pitfalls of stardom. Yeah. When did you first think about or find out about cough syrup as a way of escaping? <clears throat> yeah, um, it really wasn't much of escaping. It, it was that it was just around. You know, it was one of those things that all my boys was doing it. And, you know, it was kind of like, start off like, well, let me, let me take some of yours. Mm -hmm. And then next thing you know, a week later, it's make me my own. All right, so you guys just saw that video about him talking about his lean addiction. So I definitely feel like there's some substance abuse issues that are going on with Bow Wow because the moves that he's making and the things that he does and says doesn't make any sense. Little Mama's probably one of the few females in the industry that hasn't clowned him, that hasn't put him on blast, that hasn't disrespected him. So for him to like basically throw her under the bus and then say that his girlfriend would whoop her ass, it was just totally uncalled for and totally out of pocket. The problem with Little Bow Wow is that he's not ready to grow up. He's still stuck as Little Bow Wow. I don't care how much he changes his name. I don't care that he wants to go by Shad Moss. His mentality is that of Little Bow Wow back in the early 2000s, okay? The reason why people clown him all the time, the reason why he's not as successful as he could be is the fact that he does not know how to transition. He does not know how to go from being that kid rapper, that kid actor, having all that fame as a child growing up and transitioning successfully into adulthood, okay? Snoop Dogg had to transition. He couldn't be a 19-year-old gangbanger forever. Ice Cube had to transition. All of these rappers that came out as teenagers in the rap game, they were all able to successfully transition and go into other endeavors. And people look at them as grown adults and give them the respect that they deserve. Unfortunately for Little Bow Wow, people would not look at him like that because he does not carry himself like an adult. He does not carry himself respectfully. And he's always talking down to women, talking shit to women, you know, just being very, very degrading. Everything he 
said about little mama? Would he want somebody saying that about his daughter? You would think that him being a father of a little girl, he'd watch his words a lot closer and that he wouldn't insinuate that a female would sleep with a man within a week when he has no proof of this. A little by a while, I'm gonna need your ass to have a tall glass to shut the fuck up and leave little mama the hell alone, okay? So after all that mess, after little mama checked his ass, the only response that Bawa has said in the past two days towards her, he has not apologized to her at all. I've been waiting for an apology. He has not given her not one apology, further showing his immaturity. This is what Bawa had to say about the situation. Go ahead and check this out. So Bawa says, 2019, not responding to none of you niggas when it comes to this internet shit. Y'all gonna be talking to a wall. Uh, yeah, tell him Bow Wow. I ain't responding to none of you niggas in 2019. Okay, Bow Wow, until you start, you know, getting emotional again on Twitter and on Instagram and then telling the whole world that you want to jump off of a bridge or some goofy shit like that, you know what I'm saying? And I don't want him to do anything to himself, don't get me wrong. You know, I, I feel bad for Bow Wow more than I hate him, and I've always said that. I just wish that he would grow up. I wish that people who really cared about him would intervene because the way he's going and the way he's carrying himself, it's just not, it's not healthy. There's something wrong with the man who's almost in his mid-30s still out here trying to act like he's 15, 16 years old. He's still trying to keep it with teenagers as if he's a kid instead of being a father and a grown ass man. And I'm glad that little mama brought his ass back to reality, okay? She literally gave his ass reality check about his damn bootleg ass reality TV show. So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation. Once again, concerning biracial Bow Wow basically lying and coming for little mama and little mama checking the hell out his ass. So go ahead and leave a comment. All right, deuces. Hey, you guys, it's your girl T, and I hope you really enjoyed that video. If you want to know more about my look of the day or if you want a way to contact me concerning advertisement and sponsorship deals, definitely feel free to click my description box. There's plenty of information in there. Please stay tuned for the next video. Talk to y'all later.